Zack is in three parts. Part three is about his design. Zack is a slime. He's a big, goopy slime monster with a scary monster face. On top of that, he's visibly buff, which, you know, he's a slime monster. He doesn't have muscles, but he's intentionally made to look muscular to make him look stronger and more intimidating. And frankly, his design is not much to write home about. He's just a big, evil slime monster with no bells and whistles. Who cares, right? Except Zack is essentially the reverse of Hans from Frozen. His design is clever because he's a handsome Disney prince who turns out to be a sociopathic villain. And Zack looks like a big, scary monster, but he's actually a kind, gentle, playful, and friendly himbo who just wants to make friends and make people happy. That intentional, massive disconnect between his design and story is the point of him, and it elevates his generic design to give it some pathos. Big scary monster man who's secretly gentle and just wants friends is a compelling archetype, which makes it so baffling to me that the ride decided to Batman retcon him into a sewer-dwelling vigilante ticking time bomb that absorbs the pain and suffering of Zon emotionally, and sometimes explodes in uncontrollable rage. It completely undoes the gap appeal of his original conception in order to make him just another angry edgelord with a revenge plot. Sack was unique, and Riot, for no f reason, decided to make him less interesting. Subscribe to this channel for more reactions and hot takes, or head on over to my main channel for longer in-depth videos.